Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am in Tacoma, Washington and I am going to the Tacoma RV show. RV shows are one of the few things that Joel and I will pay to go see and go do. So I'm going to take you with me. They have some of the souls which we think are awesome little RV. Let me see if I can get inside one. This is a sister product to the Soul. It's called the Luna Rover. It's got a little, got a little fireplace over there. Got a fireplace in the back corner over there. It's got the front windshield like we like on the uh, Souls. But that's a really nice little teardrop-esque trailer here that they make. I think that one of our subscribers was looking for a trailer that was also a toy hauler and an RV all-in-one. And I think I found it. It's made by Intech. It's called the Discover. Let me show you. This is the front. It's got pop-outs on the sides for some extra space. This is actually really cool. You can fit a razor in it. Got a bed on the side, a kitchen on the back. And that looks like another bed on this side. Again, the Discover by Intech. Got a closet. Some of your plumbing. Kitchen, fridge. The only thing you're missing is a bathroom, really. But you've got a bed on this side, a bed on this side, and lots of space and storage. Really, it's almost perfect. I think I can get into the Soul Rover now. Let me show you what we've got. This is the Soul Rover, and it is just so spacious, and there's so much window and so much light. This U-shaped dinette turns into a bed. And there's your kitchen on the end. I just love all the light and the space in here, and they use it very, very well. You have a wet bath here. I don't think we've ever seen one of these either. This is kind of cool. This is called an OVR. I'm assuming it's sort of like an overlanding rig. Also by Intech. Lots of Intech products here today. An Intech OVR Expedition. Oh, wow. Kind of like the Black Series. This is a cool little mechanism. So you can lift this up. And it's a hanger, so you can actually hang stuff, like hang clothes and stuff there. That's pretty cool, um, just for more storage. You can option this with a queen bed instead of the twins, but this is very, very cool. He said it's competitive with like the Airstream, but I think this is more like an Ember trailer than Airstream. Again, this was called the OVR by Intech. He said they only get about nine of these a year, so this is pretty cool. Let's see if I can get you a good shot of the front end. Very Ember-esque, kind of about 22 feet long, it looks like. These Intech RVs are hard to find normally, but they are really, really cool and really, really well built. So if you ever get a chance to see an Intech, go find one. Look at this cute little thing. It's called a Relic Trailer. It's got cute little, little wings. It must just be a prototype because it's just an empty fiberglass shell, but this is super cool. Like they got the nice wings with the tail lights, the small circular tail lights. This is their cute little license plate cover thing. You got three low lights so that you have the bottom clearance. Nice big window for this little guy. A little V on the front here. Room for batteries on the tongue. This is a very nice looking old vintage style trailer. It would look nice behind a Cadillac. This is a no boundary 16.6. They really upped their game here. Nice large kitchen area. You never need more than two burners, really. You've got a, two small bunks, a bathroom, a decent amount of storage, and a little tiny dinette. Just enough for two or three or four. I guess you could say five people in here comfortably. One, two, three, four, five. Really good for a small family to just get out on the weekends. This is a Thor Omni Super C. And again, these blue lights are in the over cab area, but lots of space. The 
like the little vanity station here in the bedroom area. Small bed though for what the size of this RV is. This is the Winnebago Adventurer, and they've really sort of stepped up the colors in the inside here, the finishes. It looks like. I love this L-shaped couch that they've got going on here, which tucks away when the slide comes in. Love that. It does feel open, but the couch kind of divides the space, which is nice. And I like that the counter wraps around you, but also matches the couch. Like, it all is very consistent color-wise. Nice big cooktop. I love the black hardware here, following up up here with the matte black. I love that. Residential fridge, fireplace. Do you have a half bath here in the middle? Bedroom, pretty standard layout here. TV. Wish they put a window in here instead of a TV and a big cabinet. And they have a nice shower with a nice glass door that's not sliding oh, yeah. on a track wish they would have continued with the matte black hardware back here though they did on the cabinets but not on the sink and that feels a little cheap okay so you enter into the expo hall and i thought that was a lot of rvs i just walked into the tacoma dome actual dome part there's so much more to see let's get started let's take a look at this bay star sport i really like the outside colors Oh, wow. Nice and big front area. Feels very tan. It kind of cools off right here, actually. It's a smaller slide, it looks like, but it doesn't feel like you have a ton of space. This backsplash is something. It's something. It's a pretty small kitchen. I'm actually not very impressed with the size of this kitchen overall. It'll get the job done, but it's not... Everything just feels small for what this RV is. Especially for what the price tag is. It's a single bath right here in the middle and it's very, very small. You walk in, you barely, like I can barely get in here. Let's see. Like. <laughs> and then your shower's right here. Like you got no space here. And then your bedroom back here with some storage. I'm just really not impressed here, guys. This is a Bay Star Sport, seven twenty seven zero two. Show price one forty nine ninety nine nine ninety nine. I really was disappointed by that one, even though it's a smaller RV, a Class A. It's not what I would pick. This is a Chaparral three sixty IBL. Looks like there's a bunk in the middle. Let's go see. Take immediate left into the kitchen. I really like the sink on this right side over here. You have the fridge, stove, and the island is totally free. There's no sink in the island, which I really like. There's also no plumbing in this slide either. TV and a fireplace. Pretty standard fifth wheel layout for the kitchen side, but then there's a mid bunk room. And the bunks are on the slide, but it's two full-size bunks, which is very interesting. And then you have a corner table and lots of storage up here. So if you had teenagers, bigger kids, kids that need a little more space, you could sleep another couple here. You've got space for it. This is not just a two-person fifth wheel. One standard bathroom. I like that the shower is big. And then here's your master, pretty standard. The chaparral is a really good option if you have teenagers, I think. This is an Elkridge fifth wheel, and this got an interesting layout as well. The 37 DRB. So you walk straight into the kitchen. This is a toy hauler. 
And I like that they were able to get a dinette in there as well as a massive couch. You could use this dinette as a desk also. A massive bunk room. It's a bunk and a couch and another bunk and storage. And then a third bunk up here. This ladder is like built into this door here. It's kind of interesting. Nice use of space. And then a back bathroom with a shove. Lots of room here and a door to the bathroom just in case you really need to get in here. And then as you continue back upstairs, you've got another full bathroom with lots of storage. Big shower here too. And a bedroom with lots of storage, closet, and a washer dryer hookup in here. But it the closet goes all the way through, which is nice. You can use all this space if you want to. It's not, it doesn't have to be separated out. Oh man, Joel's gonna be so excited about the RV that I just found. Check out this barefoot made by New Camp. We saw these in their initial phases of production back in 2019 at the New Camp factory. And now they're actually starting to sell them, which is awesome. Let me show you the inside of these cute little guys. $48,995, 13 feet long. So you can come in, you have a closet right inside the door here. This reminds me of like the style of our scamp, but with all the new camp touches of like the tab and the, and the campers and things like that. Really nice, clean finishes. I like how they carry the color from the outside to the inside. You have a sink here, two burner stove, lots of sliding spaces, very Airstream-esque here, a little bit like spice storage, things like that. It is a full wet bath. And you do have some storage. They really used every single ounce of space they could for storage for you in this, in this RV. Looks like they have the Aldi system in here too, which I know Joel loves. By the door, a little pocket on the outside of the cabinet, really giving you as much storage as possible in here. More storage. More storage. You have a little drawer fridge here, or door fridge, sorry, that's not a drawer, that's door. A really little tiny fridge here, that's just enough for weekend camping in a drawer for some silverware. I love that they carried the blue in, gave you a towel, a, a tabletop and carried that blue in. And look at how cute these little curtains are. Joel really likes the extremes and the, in the different trailer sizes, RV sizes. So he really likes the really small ones, like the tags and the tabs or the boondocks or the scamps, or he likes the really, really big class A's. It's not much of an in-between kind of guy. Here's a boondock edition. Just enough to do what you need to do on a weekend trip. One of Joel's all-time favorites, a tab 320. And I just learned something new. I don't know if this is a new feature or if this has always been, I just never knew it. The cabinet's open on both sides of the RV so you can access some of your kitchen stuff from the inside as well now. Um, it used to just be an outdoor kitchen. But here's your kitchen on the back butt. And then inside, I like the light natural wood. Your sleeping space. Again, you can access some of your pantry space from the inside now. your bathroom with these little twisty windows that Joel loves and a big trough sink in the back and then here's a tab 400 if we are ever to get a tab this is the tab I would pick everything's inside you've got a dinette slash storage 
slash you could probably turn this into another sleeping spot lots more storage up top i will say new camp does a really nice job adding all the storage possible into these rvs and trailers like every space is used every little crevice and it's all really high really high quality finishes on the uh the wood choices and surfaces materials that they use and their windows are look at this beautiful hatch window superior to a lot of other windows using rvs got your sink cooktop again two burners is all anybody ever really probably needs in most situations drawers with silver trays so you can choose to use it or lose it lots of storage there's even there's even floor storage nice drawer here down here a nice big drawer like so much storage around here new camp does a really nice job with that again big windows little circle windows dual loves really really nice i know i'm speaking for joel a lot but i do know what he likes and i think we agree on this one I'm currently sitting in a pop-up camper and lots of windows and lots of good light. The problem is when you have a mechanism that pops up and you have to do it every single time you want to use your RV, you're bound for something to break. Um, and it's more of a canvas material on the outside, not a sturdy material. So you just have a lot more opportunity for issues. And we feel the same way about these A-frames while they are solid side. They also, again, you have to do a lot of work to get them up and usable and lots of opportunity for things to break. Apache RV always brings a lot of truck campers to RV shows. And so here we are looking at the truck campers and I'll show you into a few. This is a Northern Light 10-2 EXWBLE 63995. I think this is like the creme de la creme of Northern Light RVs. We've got lots of storage here by the door, closet space and cabinets. We got a nice wet bath here. Sliding door, which makes a lot of sense in a truck camper. Nice large pantry slot. Big dinette with overhead storage. This is very similar kind of the truck camper Joel and I had size wise big kitchen step up and what makes these northern lights so cool is that they're all made of fiberglass outsides they're a fiberglass shell camper so you aren't going to have a lot of exterior issues of leaking and stuff like that nice big pop-up skylight as well lots of light and lots of room in here for being a small truck camper this is an arctic box 811 Again, both butt entry truck campers. This has a slide on it. Your dinette and fridge are on the slide. Big wet bath. L-shaped kitchen over here, kind of unique. Your space is divided a little bit better in this one particularly. No skylight, but there is a max air fan above your head. Big closet and bed space. A little pass-through window which i love those this is an adventure 80 rb this one doesn't have a bunch of steps to get in so definitely the easiest but you will have to step up into it especially on the back of your truck you have a couch with a table leg that you can put a little tabletop there l-shaped kitchen there's your tabletops there not as much storage in this one but enough to get the job done for weekend trips or whatever very small fridge a wet bath small but gets the job done very brown but some people like that look at all these steps you have to get up into and this is on the ground but this is an adventure 901 sb think about how high you have to get how many steps you have to climb to get in here if it's on your truck bed but here's a dinette no slides on this one nice long kitchen right at the door overhead panels a very small microwave fridge I like the mid bath here. It doesn't feel as tight at the door. Mid bath 
and it gives you a nice kind of separation between your bedroom and the rest of your RV living space. So you have your bedroom with a nice little slide closet. But really consider how much you have to step up into these things from your, the ground on a truck. Here's a new Camp Cirrus 620. We had the 920. This was the exact brand of truck camper we had. Looks way different than what we had though, for sure. Much more modern. Ours was brown. I really like the gray in here. We did have these storage compartments, which are really, really nice. They give you a lot. A lot of extra storage here. I'm glad they're going with a smaller version because ours is big and beefy and meaty, and this is probably just perfect. This is a Scout. Joel's been dying to see him one of these. Brian considered this truck camper. It's called a Scout. It's one step up, so it might be easy to climb, uh, easier to climb up into. You step up. There's storage. It's more of a rugged look. This folds down. That's awesome. And then there's more storage behind it. This is really cool. Magnetic latch. So you have extra space here. Turn around. More storage. Oh, what this is, is you can shower here. So you can take the shower. The floor panel, the floor panel drains. This is, becomes your shower. And you can hang shower curtains across the edge here. That's really cool. You have a little dinette. It looks like the table swings out. Yep, table pivot, so you have three seats. So you can have it out like this or tucked to the side. This is so versatile. Looks like you've got a bed extension so you can sleep two people here or you can flip this out and have like a super bed, it looks like. And you can have extensions and sleep two people the other way or maybe even three people. Got your dome medic. And then more storage space up here. It all clips in and out. You can move all this stuff around. It's very versatile. You got some storage here. You can install whatever kind of cooktop you like. A little tiny bowl sink here. There's your fresh water sprayer or shower head. You also have a sprayer here. And two of these windows. This looks like a pop-up skylight situation. I found the Jayco's. Here's the Jayco Greyhawk 29 MV, which apparently is the number one selling RV floor plan. You're good. Let's go in. This is the equivalent to our Integra Steam. And I miss being home. Um, couch, dinette, obviously. Kitchen, they did the white interior here, which I really like. This is their farmhouse interior. Big fridge like ours. Man, I really miss being home. Even though we're trading out of it, I will miss it. I like the farmhouse better than what we have. Joel could do some edity, editing magic and cut this back in, but I was wrong in the scout. It's not a skylight. It is a pop top for a roof nest. So that's really cool. You have more sleeping space up there. So you can get comfortably like four people camping in the scout without any problem. Here's the Jayco Redhawk 31F. This I believe is their bunk model. Kitchen, couch, fridge, pantry. Got the walkthrough bathroom, big bedroom, and your bunks are right here. It's a little tight squeeze through here. Here's the Precept 34B by Jayco. Got the farmhouse. Can put a table up here in the front. Big pantry with a drop down bed. I don't like the brown they're using with the white. It's not my choice. It kind of makes it feel really dark still. Big kitchen. Three seater couch. Fireplace.
place in TV. Let's have a split bath here, shower on this side, and the toilet sink on this side. And then a big bedroom. Here's a Jayco Eagle 355MBQS. It's got a standard fifth wheel kitchen for the most part with a living room in the back. Lots of storage, lots of pantry space. You have a bunk room here with a couch and a bunk that flips down. I'm not gonna do it right now. And then also a desk area. But I really like the, the, the extra detail they put on the ceiling here where it's like striped. And I think it supports because there's also a bunk above. So this would be really good for our family. We also have a bunk up here. It feels very dark in here though, even with the lights on. Like it's very yellow and very dark. Full shower slash shub thing. Cabinetry underneath the kitchen or the bathroom sink. This isn't a kitchen, Emma. Get it together. Oh, that's blue. They put blue cabinetry up here. Wow, I hate that. Why do they do that? That's, oh, that's blue too. Man, I hate that. This is the only place they have a blue cabinetry. That is not good. Looks like a bruise. It's the bedroom. Man, I can't believe that's the only place they put blue cabinetry. Okay, well, besides the blue, I would paint that immediately. This is a pretty nice floor plan if you have kids and want to go on bigger, longer trips. I'm in a Jayco Eagle Pinnacle, and it's nothing special really, but I'm in the bathroom. And I know Joel and I have talked about this before, but I stand by the fact that I hate these on top of the counter bowl sinks. There's so much more you have to clean and so many more crevices for things to get dirty than if the sink just sat below the countertop. So I vote no on these sinks. I also vote no on this going below the sink. Like the backsplash is below the sink. Like bring that all the way up or the whole wall even. The shower is nice though. Look at that shower. We got a full body mister here. full body sprayer and I do like this surround it's not real tile but it is a nice surround for a shower this is a Jayco Swift 20T I'm not a big fan of vans in general but this is probably one of the nicer ones that I've seen I like how light and bright it is I like the pattern here it feels very open I don't feel cramped in here they use the space well they do have a back bathroom here oh the tabletop is falling on me you can put a table here in the middle there's the tabletop Got the back bathroom wet bath with a closet. Like, really nice for, for a van. I think this is actually the best I've seen. I'm, I'm very impressed by this Jayco Swift. This little RV tends to be the best deal in the show. So let's go see. It is $25,995. It is a KZ Sport. The KZ 260 BHSE bunkhouse. walk into the couch which looks like it also turns into a bed i think this is so weird but they give you leg space but like to nothing really you have a big kitchen nothing to write home about dinette tv hookup not even a whole tv is in here you do have two big like full almost size bunks with the corner cut off big shower bathroom gets the job done it's all cheap plastic and stuff like that but for kids and stuff, not a big deal. And then you do have a, bat, a bed back here. A bedroom back here. Nothing special. There are TV hookups in here too. Again, no TV. So you're going to have to add the extras here. But for it's just like a get you out on the road kind of rig. $26,000 is not bad for this. Fifth wheels really aren't our jam. But look at this Arcadia. It's got three big windows on this side. A shoe bench sitting here right next to the pantry right at the door so you can sit down hang your coats and take your shoes off 
Nice big pantry. Hate that tan, but it's a nice big couch. I like to put the tables in like this. Across from the fireplace. Big L kitchen. I like this floor plan actually. I like the way they use the space. A bunk room in the back here. The stickers. Ooh. I like this pattern. I like that. Bathroom. Nothing special, but gets the job done. And that big north south bath uh, bedroom. And a closet here. Not the most quality materials in this rig, but definitely very nice, very spacious, very usable for a family. This is an Ember Overlander. Model 171FB. Walk into your fridge. Kitchen on your right. I love this wood color they chose. It's very neutral. Bathroom. Just enough room to get the job done. Radius shower. Don't love that, but I understand why it's here. There's a very small, shallow slide. Maybe to my elbow. For the couch. The table. Kitchen with a microwave. TV. And it does not even look, it does not look like this is a Murphy bed model. So that's really nice that you have a full bed all the time. But this would be a really nice overlanding weekend rig. A couple of weeks in summer trip rig. Here's an Ember bunkhouse model. I would compare these to like the black series. This one does have a Murphy bed. And a slide for the couch. So got your kitchen, very standard for these guys. You got your bunks where the bottom bunk actually folds up and you have a door so you can access like bikes and things in here. Ooh, it's a nice big shower with a shower miser. This is definitely a really nice trailer to have. Especially if you don't want to pay the price tag for a black series. This is a great alternative. We have Ember's smallest little guy here, which is just a little. Almost like a teardrop, but it's just a couch that folds into a bed with a countertop kind of thing and a kitchen in the back. And then you have Ember's biggest trailer here. I don't know if you've seen one of these before. But you come in. You have a couch with a Murphy bed, two tabletops here. It's a big L-shaped kitchen here. Fridge and dinette on the slide. We don't love the fridge on the slide. Box and bathroom. Joel loves these little guys, the little taxa tiger moths. They also do the cricket and the mantis. I think the tiger moth is their smallest little guy. Kitchen's in the drawer right out there. Couch, bed, everything you need to get done. You even have an emergency exit on the roof that you could use a little pop top skylight. Very cool, the wall pops open here. Okay, this is a weird little guy. It kind of looks like a turtle shell. It's called an opus air. You have a fridge on the outside, a portable toilet, a big kitchen cooktop over here, like big kitchen and cooktop over here. Yeah, like the industrial steps in. It's a pop-up, big bed over here, and then a couch system here. It gives you a lot of extra headroom though. I wish that was more usable space though. Kind of a cool shape though, we haven't seen one like this before. I'm currently sitting in a bullet ultralight. I'm not sure which model it is, but it's really pretty. Like they really have upped their interior decorating options. Like for example, we got two recliner chairs here, which are really nice. Everybody can see the TV, even from the couch over there. This is a nice like blue gray color they use on all the cabinets that I really like with the lighter gray accents. Feels really warm, really comfortable, really homey. And then they went with the champagne poles and handles that I love. Feels very open. You do have a dinette on the slide. Just enough to get your business done. I really liking these L-shaped kitchens. They seem very functional on a lot of these, tra these trailers especially. I don't love these flexible plastic panels, but the bathroom in the middle kind of makes sense. You can get to it from the living area 
or you can get to it from the bedroom back here and it's very separated and divided out okay friends that was really fun i hope you liked seeing me tour some rvs by myself today there was a lot to see i wish there was more class a's to see there weren't a lot of drivable rvs here for us to see other than vans um a few super c's and a few class c's wishing there was more class a's but i'll take what i can get a lot of them are down in quartzite right now so i hope this is fun thanks for coming with me and we'll see you in the next video guys bye